Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. What's happening, folks? It's Terry Crews, and I am here with my broadcasting partner with Roy Crews. This time, it's about that happening, and we're ready to see this next game. Back in the Western Conference Finals, so check out the next game. This is Game 2 of the Western Conference Finals of the Stanley Cup, as the Dallas Stars rematch against the two Vancouver Canucks. This part of the game is going to keep on happening right down here, and we're going to find out what goes on. The next commentary I have across from here is James Cebulski along with Cheryl and Karen Carlin Bay will be setting by in the center ice. And this is the Trouble, another American versus the Canadian team. Dallas Star on my bed, one nothing. Will the Canadian team Canucks tie the series? Or will the Dallas Stars extend their lead 2-0 in, in a road trip win? Let's find out if there's a choice. We'll see you all later for the post game show. Enjoy the game, folks. Hi everybody, James Sawalski for EA Sports, we're in Vancouver with one of the most passionate fan bases in the hockey universe. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. The Stars will look to go with the offensive as they win the opening draw. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. And he slides it quickly to Pavelski. The Canucks gain possession in their own end. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Quick feed to Pavelski. Into the offensive end now. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. The Canucks have it now. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. The Stars carry it along the wall. Takes it off, but he still has the puck. Let's it go. Oh, he just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Now he's reading these shooters so well. He's getting in front of them. He's aggressive. And he's challenging them to beat him, James. And that's what I love about him. A ton of confidence. Moves it quickly over to Suter. The Canucks will play from the defensive zone. Hopelander's got it against the boards. Picked up along the wall by Heiskanen. Dumps it in. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Tries to feed it over to the hole. Great save by Demko. Strong on the board, save battle for the puck. Let's see if they can maintain that offensive momentum. Well, you know that the defensive side is vulnerable right now with the tire temper. On the offensive side, you've got to recognize that vulnerability and you want to attack the next. Uh, I always say it would be great. You have to get uncomfortable. If you look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Duchesne's won the draw here in the offensive zone. The Stars have it now. And there's the save. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play.
Assisted by number 28, Ian Cole. Time and a goal, 347 remaining in the first period. That's a goal by Bruce Setter. Assisted by Ian Cole, 347 in the first of the playoffs. Great 
recovers up and will get a face off. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. One nothing the score. The Stars start with the puck in their own end. Dallas has it in the defensive end. Directs it on over to Duchesne. Vancouver's ready to go on the attack. Zadoros carrying it ahead. And now he moves it quickly to Patterson. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. The Stars win the draw here in their own end. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Moves it quickly over to Harley. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Dallas gains a hold of it. Heiskin has got the puck in his own zone. Fires it on net. Routine well stopped by Demko. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. Fires it and makes the save. The Stars scoop it up along the boards. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Makes the save with the glove. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Miller's taking it from his own end. McCain's got it in the offensive zone. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Offensive zone. Slides the pass over to Miller. And still using the stick to poke the puck away. Into the offensive zone. Moves it to Hackenbach. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Picked up along the boards by Steele. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. As center ice now, he grabs the puck. Here's a short pass to Robertson. And he uses the glove to keep that out of the piece of it. And here's the pass to Lafferty. Take it up. Take it up. The Stars have it against the wall. Oh, what a save in front. Get those medium stuff look big on that save. It always made it look easy. That's a high shooting percentage shot because it's coming from a great A scoring area. Vancouver's in transition. Yeah. Zone. Robertson's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Puck scooped up by Pavelski. Both sides digging into that puck along the wall. A point by Grange. Oh, and how can you ever miss that? I mean, it's a big Here in the back half of this period, we got a one nothing game to this point. Duchesne's won the draw there on the top. And a strong effort on that play. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save you made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board. And guess what? The goaltender yeah. knows it. Grand along the board by Galandria. Works from the point! Too many bodies in the way. The Stars gain possession along the wall. Puck picked up by Pedersen. Here's a shot! Too much traffic in the lane. Carries the puck up through center. Grabs control of it at the point. Takes a shot! Denies him with the save! We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Dallas wants to get back into this one. They've outshot their opponents here, but they still trip. The Canucks win it in the defensive zone. 
split feed. Dallas takes possession at center. The Stars are across the line and into the offensive end. That's a smart heads up defensive play by Hronik. From the open ice, they gain the line. Shot! Oh my god, he was going to be beaten and he somehow got a piece of that. Can it keep a hold of it after that hit? The Canucks gain possession. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Shot! And he shuts the door on that. Takes the ball but still hangs on to the puck. The Stars move the puck in the defensive zone. Bends into the offensive zone now on the attack. Takes a shot. That goes off the post and stays out. The Stars bench showing some frustration there as they hit the post. Listen, when you're only down in the game by a little bit, you have to find a way to claw your way back in. Perfect chance right there to give them some momentum. And he takes the feed. Big stop on the keeper. Past the halfway point of this period, Vancouver's ahead, one nothing. The Stars win the draw. From all the walls, they're gaining momentum. Here's a chance. Oh, what an unbelievable stop by Deco. Freeman's loving the puck. They go on the attack on one side. in transition at center. And he slides it quickly to Sluter. Stop with ease. The Stars gain control of the puck against the wall. Gaining speed through center and here they come on the attack. Puck grab by Heckenpah. Angles it open to Lindell. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Here in the lane going to the frame. Vancouver's up one step. Dallas takes possession off the faceoff. Big time stop. Takes it along the wall by Marchman. Quick pass to Harley. Taken by Hoaglander. Quick possession along the wall. Vancouver Canucks goal. His first goal of the playoffs unassisted by number 21, Niles Hollander. Time to go of the game. 15 29 remaining in the third, first period. That's Niles Hollander unassisted. 15 29 in the first period of the playoffs.
Vancouver's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Johnston. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. And a stick breaks that up. Moves it to Hughes. Slides the puck to Besser. Into the offensive end right up the middle. The Stars have it from their own end. Dallas moves ahead with the puck. Here they come. Two on the left side on the attack. Great plus save. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. And they're with the offensive zone face off and here we go. Gets in front of it by laying out. Takes it across the blue line. He's got a step. I want to give a little backstory in between the Dallas Stars and the Vancouver Canucks. Been playing it for so far every regular season, but it was never how that happened to be playing it in between the one-on-one -on -one of their competitions. The better one is happening to be all but certainly, and this one comes in to be a hard stop to go right in between of those two in the alley. It doesn't mean that they are really are trying to put it in the bag or down, and they are really are trying to like shut them, shut them down. 
They have nowhere else to go but that is a hard way to get doing it. Since every regular season happened to be with the Stars and against the Canucks, this has to be a closing quarter of this game, but it was no use of how they did. They only had two wins for Dallas Stars and only one win for Vancouver Canucks on the start of the season in November. But that's a little bit of a hard one that time. The Vancouver Canucks have an 82-88-22-10 record versus the Stars at all times. Did the Canucks win a Stanley Cup? Well, the Canucks had failed to host for the first Stanley Cup, a sweep to the New York Islanders in 1981, and the Canucks appeared in the Stanley Cup Finals three times, losing on each occasionally. So the Yards just made that one with the call, and I don't know what happened here with the Dallas Stars. Maybe they were just winning that one anyway, but they didn't really have it all. So it seemed like this is it. If the Stars take over in there, and they might win the conference finals, but we'll have to wait until the games of the conference finals is finished until then. Plus, we also have one of it for you as we gain ready to set things up here. Canes and the Maple Leafs, not so friendly at all, so you gotta watch out with that. In the meantime, that is just a description to give you a backstory of the Vancouver Canucks and Dallas Stars. The other side of it, as the votes will be underway soon, that's not going to begin now, that's going to be happening in mid-July of the 17th and the 18th for the NHL and NBA. So keep your eyes peeled, after the game is finished, we will be heading your way, and this will be the end of the season for the Season 3 of the NHL 24 and the NBA 2K24 of Season 8. So if you enjoyed this one, you might like one of the others of the season back again for the regular matchups. And for playoffs here too. Keep your eyes peeled for that. And of course, with the Son of Peace, I wish him a great happy birthday and I really appreciate the, all the accomplishment that he has been enjoying it so far. If you'd like to check out the Supercuts, go ahead, click up the calling card info and we'll take you right, ahead, right to the last segment from 16 to 19. In the meantime, that's what you do for now. Terry Cruz will have a little bit more information here to get ready for the announcement, so stay tuned with that. Now back to the game. James, all you. OJ, out. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. The second stage is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Moves it up to the middle to the right. The Stars get hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Harley. The Stars play along the wing. Takes it to the net. That's easily turned aside. Hughes has it into the face of end. Vancouver Canucks goal! This first goal in the playoffs and assisted for my number 43, Quinn Hughes! Time of the goal! Time of the goal of the game, 45 seconds in his second period. That's Quinn Hughes with the goal, unassisted, 45 seconds in the second period of the playoffs. Vancouver Canucks goal! His first goal of the playoffs score by number 40, Alex Patterson! His first assist here by number 41, Nail Hollander. 
And by number 63, Greg Brunick. Down at a goal, 58 seconds in the second period. That's Elias Pedersen with the goal assisted by Hollander and Verona, 58 seconds in the second of the playoffs. And he takes the feed. Vancouver's got the puck inside the offensive zone. 
And Kruger could not score. His first goal, second goal of the playoffs on a power play, number 40, Elias Patterson. Time and a goal, 6.40 remaining in his second period. That's Elias Patterson on the power play goal, unassisted, 6.40 in his second period of the playoffs. Still has possession. 
Patterson. Dishes it to Suter. Moves it to Patterson. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Quick pass to Steele. Two minutes for slashing. It's time for the Canucks power play. Two minute ability kill for Dallas Stars, number 21. Six remaining in the in the for the slashing and number twenty one. That's two minute penalty for Dallas Stars. Number three for number twenty one. Time to penalty three forty six and a slashing. Offensively all night. 
And Cougar cannot score. His first goal of the playoffs scored by number 17 on the power play, Philip Arone. Time to go, 10.41 remaining. 17.41 remaining in the second period. That's Philip Borrone, assisted by number 28, Elias Lindholm. That's, that's again, Philip Borrone, assisted by Elias Lindholm. Now 17.41 in the second period of the playoffs. Dallas penalty, two minutes for slashing. All right, Canucks fans, it's time for the power play. Two minute penalty for Dallas, number, 20, number 10, two minutes for slushing. Time to penalty, 141 remaining in the second period. That's a two minute penalty on Dallas, number 10, with the slashing. Time to penalty, 141 remaining in the second period. That was definitely deep, very deep. What a great shot for our high skin. The Stars finally get some momentum going their way. Now, can they sustain it, though? It's going to be tough, James, unless they can string some shifts back to back together where they do create momentum and have possession in this game. You have to look for ways to be first to the puck, be relentless on it. That's what changes everything. Ellis Star's goal is first goal in the playoffs, score and a short handed goal, number four, Miro High Skidding. His first assist is given by number 22, Darren Fosca. And by number 21, right Sam Seal. Time to goal, 18-32 remaining in the second period. That's a short game goal made by New York High Skidden, assisted by Ryan Fosca and Sam Seal. 18-32 in a short game goal for the period in the playoffs. Under a minute remaining in the second period of the game of the playoffs. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four on four action. Vancouver penalty, two minutes for session, number twenty one. Dominic Bellevue, 29 seconds in the second. That's two minute penalty for for Hollander over the Vancouver Canucks. For Sasha, Dominic Bellevue, 29 seconds for a four on four play. Oh, my God. 
Probably more than 30 minutes now on this one. You do things. Yeah, Cuba's 20 minutes away from closing out the dominant performance, James. They've been defensive responsible. They've provided a lot of offense, but they've gotten into offensive zone. Now it's about seeing the finish line and closing it out properly. Ref's arms in the air. we got a penalty coming up. Here's a shot. Russell Blow stopping the play. That was penalty. Two minutes for interference. And it's time for the Canucks power play. Pucks have to drop. We've got some four on four coming up. A few ways to play a four on four. You can sit back. You can be very aggressive on the puck, but you have to make sure that you're. Moving the penalty for Dallas, number 21, for interference. Coming to penalty, 1934, meaning any third period. That's a two minute penalty for number 21 for Dallas. Number 65, Elliot McKayev. 
Time to goal, 243 remaining in the third period. Vets Philip Rurunen with the goal on the power play, assisted by Ty Mouser and Mikhaev. 243 in the third of the power play period in the playoffs. The Stars played along the boards. The stars are on the attack. Vancouver 
Bulldogs' top line has been just that tonight. They've contributed offensively, and they're a reason they're in the lead. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get stoppage in play. The Canucks have shown no signs of slowing down here in this third period. Up big. Johnson's won the draw here, and they'll call the attack. They continue to dominate the shot department and lead it here in the third. Puck grab by Heronic. The Canucks have it now. Pucks away in his own end. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it quickly over to Patterson. He carries the puck up along the wing. Oh, those parts rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattling as well, James. I mean, he knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, Bell. Hughes plays it now. Dallas takes hold of the puck. Oh, he went to the front. Made the stop on the play. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible. That's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. Suters crossed the line and gained the zone. Quickly 
and he takes the feed. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Grabbed along the board by Calandria. And now it's grabbed by Michigan. And no much on that one. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Setters glide into the dot as the face-off breaker resumed play. The Canucks come up with a defensive zone draw. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Just a crushing hit against the wall. It's frustrating, James. You're down by a bunch late in the game. You know you're not getting back in it, and then you deliver it. One minute remaining in the third period of the playoffs. And he's knocked off the puck there. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Throws one up to Miller. Here they come on the attack. Great defensive effort with the stick. Well, it's been an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Vancouver's offense has put on a show tonight, and here they are in blowout mode with the third. They win the faceoff here in the road and to take possession. Slides the puck ahead to Miller. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. The Stars have it from their own end. Moves it over to Hintz. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Final seconds of this one and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. It's a short pass to the game. so much there, James, is right now as Patterson with the Spur Cup star of the game. That's Heronic with two goals in the game in the playoffs. Made that one great connection here. I got a B&O to goaltenders in between. And the first star goes to Tatra Demko with 72 saves. He made a great one of his appearances and he had done a wild save in game two. Both teams are tied up at one in the series. It's a 1-1 in the conference finals. Here's how you do the total statistics right in between his own zoo in the alley. 78 to 74 is a Vancouver on the total shots of goal. And it was 86 over 67 for the Vancouver Canucks that made that one with the great stoppage. And it was 702 over 551 for Dallas and they are recording it up on a show run there again. Then it was happening again here with 89 percentage over 88. That happened to be Vancouver the, the other way, showing it all how it's done. And it was 43 over 31 for the face off wins for Vancouver Canucks. And then it was 8 minute penalty kill for Dallas over 2 minute penalty kill for Vancouver. Only 3 power play goals have made for Vancouver Canucks. But no power play goals in 21 seconds. And then it was only 348 for the Vancouver Canucks. But then the short handed goal has to be the appearances for Dallas. They only got 2. Well, that was just only it. Hey, if you really love that game, this on here, Roy, I definitely do. It's really great when you all have to enjoy that. I mean, you got to give over in between of the Dallas and Vancouver Canucks. I mean, there have been always been a better fight than anybody. So I hope you all enjoyed this part of the game. And we'll see you back again soon after game three and four for the NBA playoffs of the conference finals. As you'll be seeing that one under their way soon. One game will be happening here at Toronto. That will be 8.30 game for the Canes and the Leafs in Game 3. And then, for this game, will be a 9.30 game. That's going to be in between of Dallas and Vancouver. That will be on just actually 8.30. We're going to make that one a little change off because we don't know what will happen. Well, better be news. That's the time of the schedule that's going to take over and you've got to give it over with. 
Anyway, thank you so much for joining us here for the NHL Stanley Cup Western Conference Finals. We'll see you all again next time. Peace out, folks. For a while, is the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs of the Western Conference Final Style. This is Roy Cruz and Terry Cruz. We'll see you all again on the other side to kick back for Game 3 and 4. Until again, goodbye! If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.